What's up, everybody? So today, I'm going to tell y'all... Ooh, that's close, huh? Alright, today I'm going to tell you guys a big story. Actually, it's not that exciting, but it's a story about the time I came out. I came out to, like, um, my mom and her best friend in New York when my mom had this house on 125th Street. Anyway, it's a boring story. It's not really, actually it's not that boring, but it's kind of a follow-up to the first time that I, you know, got fucked. So, I was so, like, head over heels over this guy that I was, like, trying to figure out a way to tell my mom and stuff like that. So, one day I came home from school, and I was like, Mom, I got something to tell you. She's like, what? And I'm like, I can I talk to you by yourself? She's like, all right. I was like, I kind of had these feelings about somebody, but I don't know, like, how I'm going to tell you. And she was like, I know. You like boys. I was like, wow. And she was like, I know. You like boys. And I was like, damn. Okay. So... She was like, you know, I love you, blah, 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 right? So I was like, okay. She said, I don't agree with it, but I love you because you're my son. And I was like, all right, that's pretty cool, you know? So next stop was my older brother. So I didn't know how to tell my older brother. And at the time, he wasn't living with us. So I always used to talk to his girlfriend, which now is his wife. So what I did was I called her up on the phone and I was like, I was like, hey, um, I got something to tell you. And she was like, what? And I was like, I had sex for the first time and it was in your house. And she was like, what? And I, so I told her about the first time, you know, I didn't go into detail like I did with you guys, but, um, you know, I told her it was with a guy and how it happened and stuff like that. So she was like, that's cool. Um, I didn't know you were that way, but, you know, that's cool with me. So I was like, all right, don't tell my brother. So she wound up telling my brother. Anyway, um, after I had gotten fucked, I was like on it. I started like calling chat lines and stuff like that. So um, I was on a chat line one day and I went, I talked to this guy who said that he was studying psychology. And um, he was like, you wanna come over to my house and we can talk more about you coming out to your friends and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, cause I needed somebody to talk to. So I took the train all the way down to the city and um, and I went to this guy's apartment and um, we were sitting on the couch on this couch it was a really really small fucking apartment um, by Times Square off of Times Square but you know around it so anyway um, I went to his apartment and we were sitting on the couch and we started talking I was telling him how I came out to my mom and I was just telling him how came out to my sis, well, my future sister-in-law, which was my brother's girlfriend, and, um, then, before you know it, he was like, you want something to drink? I was like, alright, so he got me something to drink, I don't remember what it was, I don't remember if it was water or alcohol or something like that, and, um, it was probably water, but whatever, um, so then, we were talking some more, and he was like inching closer. Like he came back to sit on the couch, but he sat closer to me. So um, we were talking, and he was inching closer and closer and closer to me. And so then the next thing you know, he goes like this. He's like sitting there, and he's like, to me, right? So. 
I'm 14, you know, so I'm like, so, um, takes my pants off, starts to give me head, okay, then, um, I can see it through his pants, he was like, so I take his pants down, he starts to give him head, then he's like, you want to go to my bedroom, I'm like, okay, so, we go to the bedroom, and he's like messing with me, giving me head, sucking my dick, sucking my balls, pulling on my balls, I'm sucking his dick, I'm pulling on his balls, I'm doing everything that he's doing to me. So then he says, wow, you do it to me better than my girlfriend. I'm like, I was just like, so, <laughs> and um, anyway. I kind of paused for a minute, but then I was like, so I kept doing it, and it finally he, like, put me on the bed, and I was on my back, and he's like, sucking me, sucking me, sucking me, and I hit <laughs> So anyway, he's sucking me, sucking me, sucking me, and then, what happens, I come, like, I, I never came before, because... Anyway, and I come like all over my sleep. I come on the sheets. I hear the door. The front door. Who is it? It's the guy's fucking parents. So his parents came to visit and apparently they had the key. So he's like, oh shit, it's my parents, right? So anyway, um, he, whew, sorry about that, guys. So anyway, um, so he's like, it's my parents. So he runs out the room and he's talking to them, and I'm like trying to get dressed. And I, I took, I took this dress. I didn't know it was a dress. I thought it was like a sheet. I take this dress and I wipe myself all down and stuff, right? And it turns out that it's um his girlfriend's dress that she's supposed to wear that night or whatever. So when he comes back into the room, he sees this dress. It's like this pinkish dress on the, on the, like, balled up on the bed. And it's all full of cum and everything. He's like, oh, shit. And he freaks out. So I put my clothes back up. And I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'll see you later. It was nice meeting you. And he's, like, trying to get my number. And I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'll come back, I'll come back, you know? So... I run past his parents and his parents just look at me and they're like, oh, who's that? And I was like, goodbye. And I close the door. And that is the story. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was short. It was brief. It was um, exciting. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more crazy ass stories. I promise you they'll be a little longer than this because I got a lot of stories. And um, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and um, stay tuned because I'll be doing some collab videos on Lance Rice's channel, and um, he'll be on this channel some more, and um, we're going to have a few more things that we're starting out, like um, a Facebook page together, a Snapchat, and, um, and another YouTube channel. So yeah, stay tuned. Peace. Now I gotta go clean up.